Oh wait me lover, welcome to episode 4 of my FM24 beta save with Bristol City. And boy do we have another big one already. Manchester United at Old Trafford in the Carabao Cup third round. Can the Robins beat the Red Devils? Also Stoke come and visit us at Ashton Gate in the league to finish off September. But before we get into all of that please hit that like button, hit the subscribe button if you're new around here and want to see some more FM24 content and ring the little notification bell to be notified when a new video does go live. We're looking to get 10 likes on this video, we need to smash 10 likes, that'd be absolutely fantastic. So like I said in previous episodes, we are trying to get a video out every day of the beta for all your viewing pleasure. Hopefully you're enjoying it. I'm enjoying making it so far. Hopefully you enjoy watching. We're going to try a new concept today. We're going to keep the games on key highlights as I am aware that the videos are quite long. I'm trying to cut them down to at least 15 to 20 minutes. I am trying my best. So with that said and done, let's go on the bus. We've got umbrellas ready because we're going to need it. If it rains in Manchester, it does nine times out of ten. You guarantee that roof is going to leak. So since we last met in the 3-1 win against Bristol Rovers in the Carabao Cup, we have played four league games. The first game was a 2-1 win over Swansea. Harry Cornick getting the score and underway in the 16th minute with a good finish inside the box before Jason Knight scored an absolute screamer from the edge of the box, nestling into the bottom corner of the goal. Before, yeah, I can't pronounce this guy's name, I'm not going to lie. We're going to give it a go, though, we'll give it a go. Mikola Kunravchuk. Nope. Google, help me out here. How do you say this? Mikola Kucharevich. Thank you. Getting a constellation for Swansea. A massive three points at this stage of the season. And then West Brom came to visit us at Ashton Gate and we smashed them 3 0. A massive result again. All the goals coming late in this one. McAteer in the 79th minute, putting onto his left foot before slotting home past the keeper. Tommy Conway from the penalty spot, slotting it past the keeper, sending him the wrong way. And then a simple tap in. In the fifth minute of injury time for Tommy Conway, makes it 3-0 and three glorious points coming towards us against a very, very strong West Brom. Next up, the Green Army of Plymouth came to Ashton Gate. Pieface was there as well. He wasn't very happy. He left last time in real life. He's probably going to leave this time. A 2-0 win. Naki Wells, after 26 seconds, getting his head on a Cameron Bring cross. And basically smashing it past the keeper for an early 1-0 lead. Before the 17th minute rounding off the scoring with a absolute thunderbolt from the edge of the area. Slotting it past the keeper. Keeper dived, had no chance. I think it went under him. Can't quite remember. And all three points yet again go to Bristol City and back-to-back -back clean sheets. And the last game, we travelled up to the King Power Stadium, Leicester City, and we come away with a 2-1 win. Andres Weiman with a goal, unbelievable goal. Pring picks it up in the middle of the park. A little dink over the top. Ameti with the flick on. Weiman chests it down and then volleys past Iverson in goal to give us a 1-0 lead after 34 minutes. Leicester equalised through Doosby Hall just before half-time. Pablo Fornells, who he must sign in the summer transfer window, does all the hard work, lays it off to Drewsby Hall at the edge of the box, and he absolutely rifles it into the top corner to make it one all at half time. Before Mameti, let's just say this could be a potential for goal of the month, if not the season, but I have seen better. So month is more than likely. On the edge of the box, he absolutely drives it down Everson's throat, and he can't get nothing to it. And we walk away with three points against former Premier League winners, Leicester City. That is all the games that have been played so far since we last met. And the current league table looks like this. We're sitting top. Top of the table. Six wins, one draw, one defeat on 19 points from eight games. That's unbelievable. Swansea have ended sitting second Followed by Leeds, Middlesbrough, Norwich and Blackburn who currently sit in the last playoff place. Right at the bottom we've got Cardiff, Preston and 
QPR. QPR struggling in real life and also struggling in game. Who would funk it? Well, QPR was a good team. Maybe not. But at the moment, we push league form to one side and we concentrate on Eric Ten Hag's Manchester United. Like I said, they're currently sitting second in the Premier League. Five wins from six games and one defeat. One of the feet was against Fulham away. They got decent players, some world class players. It all depends on what sort of formation he's going to put out, what team Ten Hag is going to put out. But I fancy us doing a giant killing here. I really do. Let's go to the team selection and see who is going to go up against Manchester United. So this is going to be our starting lineup for the biggest game of the season so far. Coming in goal with Walters, Veneer, Edwards and Pring. Coming does have a slight injury, but nothing too serious. Nothing we haven't got to worry about. James in midfield with Naismith. They've been solid all season so far. And on the right wing, we've got McAteer. On my left, we've got Sammy Bell. With Vyman as a cam. And Naki Wells is going to get a chance up front. On the bench, we've got O'Leary, Tanner, Knight, Conway, Roberts, Cornick. Roland, Dickey, and Mark Sykes. That's our starting lineup. I wonder who <laughs> Ten Hag has put out. This could be interesting. Is he going to go full strength? Yes, at, yes, no, yes, and no. There's some first team players in there. Um, Altai Ben Yandir, Wambasaka, Lindelof, Martinez, Regulon, Amabat, McTominay. Man, I, I wanted him. I so wanted him in the summer. I wanted to get him on loan, but they wouldn't release him. Jadon Sancho. Oh, he's emoji. Garnacho and Martial. Oh, dear God. My, you watch. Martial have an absolute blinder now. On the bench, there's not many big-name players on the bench, if any. We've got, we got Darlo. Great goal against Sheffield United. Van der Beek, Maguire. You actually played had a man a match. Would you add him and leave it? Hmm. Interesting. I got. I think we can do this. I really do. Everyone expects us to get beaten. But you never know. Knockout cup competitions are different class, different gravy. You never know what might happen in 90 minutes. So far, a very quiet 5-6 minutes, which is good for us. There are key highlights. We've changed it a little bit. Trying to cut down these videos a little bit. But when 20 minutes, 20, 19th minute corner for Manchester United, Martinez whips it in back post. Coming saves it, hits the back post. I'm not too sure, but Bell can bring it forward. Keeps hold of the ball, we're doing well. Amabat wins it back, and that's surely going to be the end of the highlight. 26 minutes, regular on with a corner, whipped in there post. Pring can clear it as far as Martial, who's picked up a knock. It's a good tackle, it's got back in, McTominay, who's not hit the back of the net for once. At the moment, he's on fire. Walters much picked up a knock or free kick's been given. Edge of the box. Sancho whips it in. Back post. And Lindelof heads it wide. Three big chances for Manchester United. Key highlights coming left, right and centre now. We can't get the ball out of our half. Let's compose ourselves, boys. Vyman. Cunning. Just who's set up build. We should control the ball. We're just inviting pressure onto us. Mano. He's a good player. Garnacho, another good player. Martial. Lino, you've scored. The flag is up. Is there VAR? There is VAR. Defender's hands went up earlier. Goal has been awarded. Manchester United 1 0 up. And who scored? Anthony Martial. Defender's hands go up early. They go up really early. It's a good finish by Martial. Don't get me wrong. How tight is it? it must be very tight. Oh, the training leg of the defenders kept him on. Manchester United won. Bristol City nil. Sancho for another corner. Whips it in from near post. McTominay. Scott McTominay makes it to 33 minutes in. Two quick fire goals from Manchester United. Could have put this tie to bed already. It's a good ball in. Near post. McTominay. Come in. Can't get nowhere near it. I think I've just given the wrong... Shout, I put focus. I shouldn't have maybe put focus. Amabat's on the ball with 39 minutes in. We've not conceded a third before half time. Oh, well, this could be a riot. Martinez, Regulon, you might get a chance here. Or they just toying with us. Martinez all the way back. Bremunder, 
I butchered that name as well. Lindelof to Wamba Saka. He's definitely playing inverted wing back. Full back. Sancho to Martial. He's got a knock. It doesn't seem to bother him. That's a second goal of the season. Anthony Martial. Like I said earlier, he's going to have an absolute blinder. 3 0. He just can't seem to cope. He hasn't played all season, probably. Coming just should be doing better than that. Should be saving that. Corner. We got a chance. We go short. Wells. Why are you in there? Matty James. He's off McAteer. Casey McAteer makes it 3 1. Maybe it's not game over. Maybe we do have a chance. It's a short routine. It's set piece. Set piece. Piece. Set piece coach. He's going to be up here about. Keeper sits down early. And maybe we're not out of us yet. Naismith, just before half time, whips it in. It's near post. McTominay can clear. Vinya! Oh, that was a chance to be right back in it. He's headed it over from literally two yards out. How has he done that? And that is a half time whistle. 3 1 Manchester United lead so far. I'm, I am disappointed. I am very disappointed. 6 3, 6 4. We've been playing some fantastic football recently before this game. I think the, the occasion's got to us, and we have absolutely bottled it. Massive 45 minutes now. We can do this. I really think we can. One Masaka with a throw. 58 minutes in. McTominay. Lindelof. McTominay. Everything Man United hit seems to be going in at the moment. Amber back. Back to Regulon. Martinez. All the way back to the goalkeeper. Ben in here. Ben in here. Regulon. Got space to go forward. Van der Beek who's come on for Mano. Martinez. Can we get win this ball? Can we win this ball high up and get a, a counter on? Maybe not. Lindelof. Man up just keep him in possession. One Basaka. Garnacho. Down the line for Van der Beek. He's had a very poor Manchester United career. Garnacho, don't miss. Doesn't miss. I said it before he hit it. 4 1. First goal of the season. I think it took a slight deflection, which then hit the coming in, in the goal. Uh, Abba played 4 1 down. Garnacho shoots. It does take a deflection of the defender. Who is it? Walters. And that is 4 1. And at that, we're going to make some changes because we've got some very, very tired players. What was going to come off for Tanner? Pring's coming off for Roberts. Vyman is coming off for Jason Knight. And that is it at the moment. Four substitutions with half an hour to go. Maybe this might kick us up the ass a little bit. Or it could make us worse. Momentum is all my United. It's going to be at Old Trafford, even with a second-rated team. The gap in between us and Manchester United is massive if we go anywhere near going up this season. We need some massive improvement. Wells. Racketeer gets it in. Jason Knight makes it 4-2. Game's not over. I'm getting optimistic. I shouldn't be getting optimistic. What am I getting optimistic for? I know the game's over. Bit of pride. But Naki Wells goes down the line. One Masaka doesn't get anywhere near. Oh, Martial doesn't get nowhere near him, sorry. Racketeer with a cross on the floor. Knight six yards out. Not going to miss from there. 4-2. 15 to go. Set in the field on Knackered. So we'll take Naismith off and bring on bring on Mark Sykes for the last 15. No more subs are left. Five minutes of injury time to be played. And that is the full time result. Eric Ten Hag gets one on over us. I'm just checking the roof. It's not raining, but you never know with Old Trafford. 4 2 winners. Manchester United. McTominay. Martial getting two. McTominay. Ganacho. I said, I said at the start before I even press play. Martial is going to have a blinder. And turns down and scores two goals. Sancho getting two assists. Garnacho getting an assist. And a goal. And Van der Beek getting an assist. But McIntyre and Knight doesn't make it a hammering. But do you know what? It went all bad. 4-2 against a Premier League team. I, I can't slate you anyone for that. We concentrate on the league now. That's all we can concentrate on. Any shock results there? Tottenham lost to Everton on penalties. But apart from that, no. Hey, we were competitive. We got to the third round. We beat Bristol Rovers. We beat our rivals. That's the main thing. But we weren't ashamed there. We didn't do too bad. 10 shots. Our XG, okay. 
1.62, still better than some teams to get at Old Trafford. We gave him a go. We didn't shut up shop. We gave it a go. Right, next up, back to league form. Stoke, we must improve for the Stoke game. Because Stoke are no easy team. So here we are then, game day. Stoke are travelled to Ashton Gate. They currently sit in 8th team spot on 8 points from 8 matches. We are top of the table, 19 from 8. Can we get back to winning ways after losing 4-2 earlier on to Manchester United? So just a couple of changes from the starting lineup that started against Manchester United. We have coming in goal, we have Walters, Veneer and Naismith now in defence with Pring. James and Knight in centre midfield with McAteer on the right, Mametti on the left, Vyman as a cam. And then Naki Wells up front again. O'Leary, Edwards, Bell, Conway, Tanner, Sykes, Roland, Roberts and Cornick are all on the bench. Here we go then. It's not raining. It's a lovely day here in Bristol. Makes a change actually. Just make a change. Usually get quite good weather down in the southwest. Stoke are playing a 4-3-3 formation. Hopefully we can break through their defence. Might do a high high press. I don't, I'm not too sure. Teams are coming out. Of course, we're in the red. Stoke are in their way. Blue kit. Game is underway. Four minutes in. It is absolutely tipping down. Luckily, we're not Manchester because we would need an umbrella. Wells into the box. Moretti back to goal. Turns. It's it. In off the bar. And it's Moretti with a sixth goal of the season. They gave him space in the box. He managed to turn on it. And smash it past the keeper in off the bar. Mark Travers has no chance. Wells as well. Moretti got back to goal. Shifts it just slightly to get enough to get a shot of him. And Travers, he sits down too easily. 1-0, 5 minutes played. Stoke with a throw and then 10 minutes. Nilton to Laurent. He's got Hoover in the middle. Through ball pass to Wesley. Wesley Morelas. With a second goal of the season for Stoke. Makes it 1-1. Equalises quite early on. This could be an absolute goal fest. From the throw, Laurent picks it up. Got a player in the middle, Hoover. It's not Hoover. Looks a great through ball in all fairness. And Wesley Morales just slots into the top corner. Coming at no chance. Pring with the throw then. 16 minutes played. Knight gives it back to Pring. Moretti in the box. Looking for someone but it's cleared. Roman heads it. Knight gets it and it's cleared again from uh, Stoke. And he's up to the halfway line and Veneer. McAteer back to him again. He's got time on it. There's no pressure on him. He's looking for a run. No one's making it. Knight's in the middle. A through ball over the top. Naki Wells on the volley. Naki Wells, what a goal. But the flag is up. It was a late flag by the line there. But what a finish. 20 minutes on. And Pearson, that is a naughty, naughty tackle. And Pearson has been given a straight red card. Stoke are down to 10 men. Right, what was has picked up an injury. Struggling to run off. He ain't going to run off. There's no point risking you, mate. No point risking you. So Tanner has come on for Walters. But playing against 10 men is never easy. Saying that, look, Stoke got a corner. He's whipped in. It's... Double save, I do believe. Is it a triple save? It is a triple save. Wasn't quite sure what happened there. I know he made a second save. But with the first one was blocked, not too sure. Coming up to half time. Can we get a goal before half time? Pring. Coming forward with it. Still Pring. Gets into the area. It's poor touch. Gives out a Tanner. He's in the box. Tanner shoots. And Travers tips it over for a corner. Can we make this extra man work? Matty James in corner to be an in swinger near the near post. Is it in the middle? It's cleared eventually by Laurent. A mere as far as Tanner. That is definitely the halftime whistle. It's got to be. Five minutes injury time in the first half. And it is 1-1. One, one. Stoke down to 10 men. It was a nasty tackle by Ben Pearson. Let's, let's uh, not beat around the bush here. Yeah. Right, we're a better team here, boys. Let's keep it going. Anyone injured? Uh, anyone got a bucket? No. Right, second half, and they've made a change. Stoke at half time. What was it? I thought it was a streaker then. Whipped in. Moretti back post. Can't get his head on target. 
and the score remains 1-1. One, one. McAteer with a throw to James. Back to McAteer. Back to James. Back to McAteer. Keeping the ball lovely. Letting the ball do the work. The near referee get out of the bloody way. Naismith. Down the line for Pring. Can he get the cross in? He does. It's near post. It's gone through everyone. And McAteer gets his fifth goal of the season. Looking at the back post. 55 minutes played. Bristol City 2. Stoke 1. Naismith plays down the line for Pring. Takes a touch. Whips it in. Everyone misses it. But McAteer at the back post just slots it home. And Ashton Gate is rocking. 62 minutes in. Pring with a throw. You'd like to think that Stoke will be playing counter football or part the bus and make sure we don't concede too many. But you never know this year with football manager. Apparently, AI managers change all the time. So we'll see. McAteer gets out wide to Tanner. A third goal kills the game off. McAteer back to Tanner. Has a look. Gets the cross in. Feynman volleys it just wide. Throw in for Stoke. Johnson. McNally. They're holding on in there, Stoke. I think they might think they can nick one. Laurent. Rolls with a tackle. Now we count a Laurent. That's a nasty tackle. Sykes has gone down injured. Referee's talking to him. What colour is the card going to be? And it's a red. Stoke are down to nine men. Oh, 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 Stoke. Don't lose your heads, boys. Do not lose your heads. We've got a free kick booked in. Well, but it's back post. Oh, it's just gone wide. What a free kick that was. I just press no pressure. I might be the wrong one. Wells gets out the Tanner. Gets the cross in. Sykes out jumps the defender and heads it over the bar. Surely we've got to take one of these chances soon. We don't want to give Stoke any chances. Six minutes off injury time to be played. Time is running down very, very quickly. The nine men of Stoke have been defeated and it finishes Bristol City 2 Stoke 1 and I think the talking point of the whole of that match was Stoke going down to 9 men so with that win we are currently still sitting top of the table Swansea are in 2nd place on 21 then come Middlesbrough, Norwich Southampton and Leeds who have now finally been beaten sit in the final playoff spot at the bottom is Cardiff, Preston and QPR Stoke are now dropped down the place to 19th. They were 18th at the start of this episode. What do we have coming up in the next couple of games? We have Rotherham, Leeds, Coventry, then Ipswich, and then the Seven Derby against Cardiff. That is going to be part of the next episode, along with the Sheffield Wednesday game as well. Hopefully, you can join me for that one. Thank you very much for watching today. If you have enjoyed today's episode, please smash that like button. Hit the subscribe button if you're new around here and want to see some more FM24 content. And ring the notification bell so you're notified when a new video does go live. We are looking to get 10 likes in this video. If we can smash that 10 likes, that would be absolutely fantastic. Well, we didn't beat Man United. We beat Stoke. We're still top of the league. It's something to fight for. Ooh, plus FA Cup in January. Could be interesting. We're a long way off January yet. But still, got to be optimistic. Until next time, guys, take a stay, look after yourselves, and I will see you all very, very soon. Doodles. Bloody Martial.